I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? How do we show our love to another person? Is it through words? Is it through physicality? How does someone in our life know that we love them? In Lady Bird, a 2017 coming-of-age film, writer-director Greta Gerwig offers her own take on these questions. Lady Bird tells the story of an ambitious teenager in 2002 as she navigates her final year of high school. Christine McPherson, or as she calls herself, My name is Lady Bird. Uh, well, actually, it's not. Is an incredibly motivated character. Her ultimate goal is to get into a university in New York and move away from her hometown of Sacramento, which she claims to hate. I hate California. I have to get out of Sacramento. I want to go where culture is. At the heart of the film, however, is Lady Bird's relationship with her mother, Marion. And, most importantly, how they showed their love for each other. The two have an incredibly tumultuous relationship throughout the film. Lady Bird wants nothing more than to burn all bridges with her mother and start her life anew in New York. You give me a number for how much it costs to raise me and I'm gonna get older and make a lot of money and write you a check for what I owe you so that I never have to speak to you again. But like in all great movies with well-written character arcs, Lady Bird must come to realize that what she wants right now is not necessarily what she needs. The ultimate lesson that Lady Bird discovers by the end of the film helps her to understand how we show our love for another person. Through this character development, the film Lady Bird delivers its most important statement. Love is attention. A little over halfway through the film, Lady Bird is in Sister Sarah Jones' office discussing Lady Bird's scholarship essay about Sacramento. Lady Bird's attention to detail in her essay, according to Sister Sarah Jones, comes across as love. I read your college essay. You clearly love Sacramento. I do? You write about Sacramento so affectionately and with such care. Well, I was just describing it. Well, it comes across as love. Sure. I guess I pay attention. Don't you think maybe they are the same thing? Love and attention? Lady Bird is confused by Sister Sarah Jones' assertion that she loves Sacramento. Lady Bird has done nothing but speak resentfully of Sacramento. It is her greatest wish to leave the city. According to Lady Bird, she doesn't love Sacramento, she simply pays attention. But, according to Sister Sarah Joan, they are the same thing. What exactly does she mean by this? According to some people, our undivided attention is a very precious gift. A gift we don't always offer lavishly. Philosopher Simone Weil called attention the rarest and purest form of generosity. Zen Buddhist monk and teacher Thich Nhat Hanh has also written extensively about this idea. He says, When you love someone, you have to be truly present for him or her. To demonstrate true love, we have to make ourselves available. When you are concentrated, mind and body together, you produce your true presence. Anything you say is a mantra. Our attention is perhaps one of the most valuable gifts we can give to another person. In today's world, where there are a million things we could give our attention to, we can choose to offer it to another person. Let's take a look at the central relationship of the movie, Lady Bird and her mother. From the outsider's perspective, it would be hard to say that they appeared to love each other. In almost every scene with them, they are arguing, fighting, and yelling. 
You should just go to City College. You know, with your work ethic, just go to City College and then to jail and then back to City College and then maybe you'd learn to pull yourself up and not expect everybody to do everything. Are we expected to believe they love each other? Well, yes. When we see them, what exactly are they fighting about? Usually, about each other. They constantly pick apart each other's personalities and actions. One thing you can say with certainty about Lady Bird and Marion is that they pay attention to each other. Marion is overbearing, a large presence in Lady Bird's life. She gives her attention. They have a deep understanding of each other's actions and personalities. They interact with each other often, even if most of the time they are belligerent and argumentative. Now, let's apply the film's statement. Love is attention. When we look at their relationship through that lens, it's clear they love each other very much. When Marion and Ladybird are yelling at each other, quite frequently, it happens when Marion is doing something for Ladybird, or trying to help her achieve something. Buying a dress for events, visiting colleges, wanting Ladybird to receive a good education and be successful. You were being passive aggressive. No, I wasn't. You are so infuriated. Please stop yelling. I'm not yelling. Oh, it's Honey, perfect. I love it. Marion invests a lot of energy into Ladybird and her future, even if that energy is expressed with great fervor. She pays attention to Ladybird. That's her way of expressing her love. One could even argue that part of the reason Lady Bird acts out all the time is because she knows that, in return, she will receive attention from her mother. I think, on a subconscious level, Lady Bird knows that her mother's attention is her form of love. This idea is equally strengthened near the end of the film when Marion finds out that Lady Bird has gone behind her back and applied to New York colleges without Marion's permission. Of all the things that Lady Bird has done and said to Marion throughout the film, this is what hurts her the most. Lady Bird ignored her. Ignored her advice. Her wishes. Did something without her. So, how does Marion respond? With more yelling? More insults and arguments? No. Marion ignores Lady Bird. And likewise, this hurts Lady Bird more than anything else Marion does in the film. Lady Bird cannot cope with her mother refusing to speak with her. I'm sorry, I know I can lie and not be a good person, but please, Mom, please. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. I, I appreciate everything you've done for me. I'm ungrateful and I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry I wanted more. Please, talk to me. I know I'm, I'm so bad, I know I am, but please just talk to me, Mom. Mom, please talk to me. It is only after Marion stops talking to her that Lady Bird questions whether or not Marion even loves her. Lady Bird is starved of her mother's attention, and therefore, her love. Love as attention, as I said earlier, is the heart of Lady Bird's story. It is the most important lesson that she has to learn throughout the course of the film. We see this with the other central relationship in the film, Lady Bird and her relationship with the city of Sacramento. In the end, Lady Bird reaches her aspirations to get into college and move to New York. But the climax of the film doesn't take place when she gets her acceptance letter. It doesn't take place when she boards a plane, leaving Sacramento behind. Instead, the climax of the film takes place when she learns to understand and accept the idea that love is attention. This happens in one of my favorite endings to a movie ever. After Lady Bird attends her first college party in New York, she stumbles, still drunk, out of a hospital and into the streets of the new and unfamiliar city. The streets are not Sacramento's. They're different foreign to her. She eventually wanders into a Catholic church during a mass, attempting to connect with something she is familiar with, something that reminds her of home. Outside the church, 
She leaves a voicemail for her mother, someone she hasn't spoken with since graduating high school. In the voicemail, she admits to feeling emotional the first time she drove in Sacramento. She yet again describes Sacramento in all its minute details. She is describing her love for it. All those bends I've known my whole life and stores and the whole thing. Lady Bird's relationship to Sacramento is her relationship with her mother. It is only when she is away from both that she realizes her love for them. Love isn't a feeling. It isn't a word. It's an action. It is taking the time to engage another person and making them a part of your life. When you pay attention to someone, you are telling them that they are worth your time. When you actively listen to someone ramble on about something you have no personal interest in, you are loving them. At the end, Lady Bird finally and truly understands. When we offer our undivided attention, we offer our love. I love you. Thank you. I'm... Thank you.